guys, it's John from TheProductiveGarden.com and what I'm going to show you today is some eggs that I'm candling. Now, candling eggs is a way of telling if eggs are, um, eggs are fertile or not, that they're developing embryos inside. And it's a good way rather than having a whole lot of eggs that aren't developing or if you've got eggs in there and for some reason they're not fertile and you may as well start again if you can confirm that none of them are fertile, then you can stop wasting your time um, continuing to incubate those eggs and get a new lot in that you believe will be fertile. So I'm gonna have a look at these eggs. I'm pretty sure at least some of them will be fertile and um, we'll see some developing embryos. Now these eggs have been in the incubator for about a week. So you're not gonna see like a, a, a little baby chicken inside the egg. You'll just see mostly veins and maybe a bit of a blob. Um, we'll see how good the, the camera picks it up because I'm gonna have to turn the, the light off inside the room and use a torch. So it's gonna be a little bit dark, but We'll see what we can do. Hopefully we pick up some reasonable images. Okay, so let's turn the light off. We'll get um, some of this candling done and see if we can see some nice little embryos inside. Let's get going. So there's our incubator there. I've just got it in the middle of the floor there so I can easily film it. Um, so what I'm going to do now is I'll turn off the light and we'll see what we can see um, in our candling. Okay, now what I need to do is take an egg out of the incubator, so I'll grab one out. Okay, I just normally pick an egg at random because random, they've all, well, the roosters, so I've got two here, the one, these ones, the white ones on this side, and they're Aracuna cross, and the ones on this side are Marin eggs. So they're the same rooster, so generally if some aren't, um, fertile in some way and you can see this one here um, you may be able to see some veins and stuff in this egg and if I turn around quickly you'll see that blob there you'll see it all slowly float down so that would be part of the um, the embryo developing and you can see I don't know how clearly you can see it here but there's a, um, a network of veins that you can see running around the egg so that one looks pretty good you can see sort of veins around there so that one should be pretty good so we have got some fertile eggs there so at least I know that Aracuna roost is nice and fertile I'll pick another one out here all right that one looks pretty good as well you can see there's the blob there that's the embryo that's um much more defined than the other one so that one's pretty good as well so I'm pretty happy with that I'd say I've got myself a chicken there so you can see that blob right there that's the embryo and you can see sort of veins around the eggs so there we go there's one so these aracuna eggs are looking pretty good aracana I should say not aracuna Let's pick another one out and see how that is. Okay. And that one looks alright as well. There's a see veins and stuff there. Uh, can't see an embryo. Oh, there's like the blob of an embryo. So sometimes they um they develop a bit faster than others. So that one, yeah, that one looks alright. I'm pretty pretty happy with that. Okay, and the important thing with this incubator is when you're sitting the eggs in it, you've got to make sure you have the pointy end down. Now, the pointy end is where all the fluid and stuff will be. The blunt end is where the air sac will be, and you want that to be at the top. So, basically, if that's at the bottom, you pretty much suffocate the chicken so, um, or the embryo. So, you, you need to have that air sac at the top. Other incubators might have them laying flat. So it doesn't really matter if, in that case, which way you put them. But if you've got one that has them with one end in, then you've got to make sure you have the air bubble at the top. Right, I will try some of these marin eggs now. Now, these ones are a little bit harder to candle. If I um, shine the torch on this one. You might be able to see there, they're much darker eggs. They've got a much darker color on the shell. I don't know how good that'll be. So yeah, you can see there, 
they're a fairly dark shell okay so let's have a look at this that's really hard to tell there's not much definition in that at all I move it around you can see the bubbles in this end so these tend to be not as defined in the points as others but that's really hard to tell oh there's a bit of a shadow there so there might be something in there yeah I can see a bit of a shadow so it's not very easy to see in the camera but there may be an embryo there we'll pick out another one and see how that looks That one there does not look as good. Okay, now these eggs, these marin eggs, were collected over about um, two weeks. So some of the older ones may just be a little bit old. Would have been better. So that one there doesn't look so good. Okay, so maybe that one's not going to be developing at all. Try this one next to it and yet that one looks much better you can see it's got um it's much darker if I can get in the camera this one's much darker than the other one um, yeah so it looks much better if I can show where the bubble is I can't really see it in this one Unless that's the bubble on that side. No, I don't think. Oh, yeah, that is. So that's the bubble there. So that's the side that should be up on this one. So I'll make sure I put it in the right way. Okay, pick another one. Okay, so you can see that one there is pretty dark as well. There's a bit of a shadow there. See this one here, there's the bubble there, so that's the side that should be up, which is the way I got it out. So, yeah, that one might be. Like I said, these marin eggs are a lot harder to tell. <coughs> Excuse me. So, the way I do it, I just have the torch, I just hold my fingers around it and just sit my, my fingers around the egg. egg and just basically, I sit the egg right on the torch to get the maximum light through it. So there you go. So the um the Aracuna eggs look a bit more successful. Um marin eggs sometimes are a little bit more temperamental. Anyway, we'll put this one back. And we might just try one more and see how that goes. Yeah, that one looks a fair bit darker as well. So hopefully that one will be reasonably good although I can't see any specific blob in there yeah anyway yeah it does look a bit darker so hopefully there's another chicken there all right so there you go that's um my eggs I'm incubating at the moment so hopefully in two weeks time because chickens take approximately 21 days to incubate sometimes it can be 20 22 just um, can depend upon how well your incubator holds the temperature if it gets a bit colder at night when things get colder then things can take a bit longer but generally um, an incubator should be set at 37.7 degrees is what they say but obviously I found if you got it pretty good between 37 38 degrees most of the time if it drops down to 36 or um, it's not too bad if it gets a bit too hot if you sort of get the 39 If you get the 40 degrees your eggs are pretty much gone 39 you might lose a few so you definitely you don't want to make sure it gets too hot the heat kills them quicker than the cold the cold Will pretty much just slow them down a bit um, as long as it doesn't get too cold but 35 36 they'll generally be fine You might just slow them down a bit, but if you keep them between 37 38, they're pretty good 
And the other important thing is to make sure that you have a bit of water inside your incubator to maintain the humidity, because if the eggs dry out, again, um, the chickens will die. And, and, and that is especially important, I've found, when they're hatching. The humidity needs to be kept up when they're hatching, otherwise the, um, the chickens can dry out pretty quickly when they're, in, like in the, when they're doing their hatching, when they're hatching from the egg, and the feathers will stick to the egg, the chickens will get stuck inside the egg, and they'll pretty much die struggling trying, trying to get out of that egg unless you're there to help them at the time. But if, they, if it's nice and humid inside the incubator, those chickens can get out of that egg, no trouble at all by themselves. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed that, and until next time, happy productive gardening. Bye.